This is a culmination of 20 years of progress that we've made with this reef program, starting with our very first one in, in Lake Pelto down south of Cocodri. So over that period of time, we've constructed over 30 artificial reef and marsh projects with a value of over $10 million, and we're picking up speed. We're here at Vermilion 119. We're putting down an old rig jacket where a rig used to be. Now you'll be having red snapper habitat and they'll be attracted here pretty soon. So we've identified over 100 sites so far that platforms are scheduled to be removed and, and we're following up on those one by one with our replacement program. So that's why it's so important of what we've done today to get this new progress started for this, this reef program that we've initiated today. So we've already done a number of reefs and we're currently scoping additional areas that we'd be able to deploy reefs. There's a lot of opportunity out there and there's a lot of fish that once the platform goes away they need a new home. So we, we really hope that infrastructure gets built beneath by the fish, by corals and, and that benefits in so many ways. a history of working on conservation and environmental projects to benefit the communities in which we work and live. Our Anglo community benefits greatly from this as well as the fish. Well wildlife and fisheries through the Artificial Reef Trust Fund uh, matches the money that CCA can generate through their partners with folks like Shell, uh, Road Rock Recycling and a lot of the others. There's nobody better at taking an idea or a concept to construction than CCA and then partnering with wildlife and fisheries is just a, a logical choice. It's good for all Louisiana anglers and this is, this is really something special to see being deployed here today. So we put this hard structure down here. Today in this case it was a helipad from a production platform. In other cases just crushed concrete or limestone. But this provides that attachment point for the marine organisms to start the food chain which also in turn goes up through the bait fish and through our sport fish. So this is a very important part of our habitat and our ecosystem. But the science says these reefs, oil and gas platforms are really good for not only the juvenile fish but even the predator fish. We've got to do everything we can to maintain that resource and make sure Louisiana remains sportsman's paradise. Today's project was in 70 feet of water, so it's going to be more of your reef complex fish, your red snapper, mangrove snapper, copia, and those types of fish. Louisiana has been the sportsman's paradise for years, and it's mainly because we have structure and we have habitat. Now we can keep it there for the fishermen and the fish, as well as hopefully keep the oil and gas industry happy uh, where they can leave some of these structures out there. So we're really excited about adding to the snapper habitat. It's such a popular fishery here in Louisiana, and it's a great destination coming out of this port or out of Sycamore Island port. So we're happy to have this habitat and this destination for our anglers for now and into the future.